Hello everyone, I'm a Dino Gamer and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Primal Ops. So just today there's been an update. So the first change I saw is they changed the difficulty levels. So instead of normal, then hard, then elite, there's act one, act two, then act three. Our second major change is the introduction of boss events. So right now it's a T-Rex boss event where you have to compete against other players to be the quickest to subdue a wild t-rex complete multiple loops to get a higher score and the higher you position on the leaderboard the better your rewards will be so i played it once and currently i'm in the cadet rank there are six different ranks cadet officer ranger captain veteran and DFW Ranger. So the prices vary as you get higher, the prices get much, much better. The DFW Ranger, you get a legendary dino crate, 600 epic keys, 600 rare, and 500 common keys, which is really great. So, without further ado, let's hop right in. Oh, before I forget, let's see what we can upgrade because this is pretty hard so we're using Acrocanthosaurus so let's level him up spend all this coin Acrocanthosaurus so level 40 500 power and 229 stamina which is almost as much as Antarctica Pelter and it does a lot of damage T-Rex family level 7 pretty nice Halfway through Sanctuary level 10 and we did complete a quest and an achievement. So we did complete all quests for today which is pretty nice. Five more homocephaly DNA and I believe you can upgrade our character. To Adriana Santos, we can upgrade her once. Ooh, 5,000 coins. That is indeed a lot. We can upgrade the gun. And now it changed. So now there's the chance of applying bleed on hit, which is fantastic. And bonus damage. This is the same as before, but this has changed in the recent update. So now this character is objectively the best. Yeah. Adriana Santos is the best. So, without further ado, hmm, let's change this to Antarctica Pelta and to Homo Cephali. And let's begin. So, here we are. So, there's a bit of a train track to follow, and there's usually a timer. So, as you cross this gate, the timer will start. I actually don't know if it's possible to die because I never even took damage before. But not taking any chances. Just gonna stay away. Hopefully Antarctica felt I can help a bit. Hopefully. Turn around and I cannot see at all. Come on safely. Please. Someone after Acrocanthosaurus once more while I run away. And then Acrocanthosaurus doing not much now. And I need to run. Great. I'm a good position. Nope, not in a good position anymore. That was a good hit by Antarctica Pelter. Someone after again. Ooh, yep, I can take damage. Not a lot though, but. Don't want to take too much. Not always a great idea. But this can go on for a while. And T Rex has so much health. Not over. Half health left. Yeah. <coughs> and keep going and I have a minute left. Yeah. 
get basically nothing. And I'm stunned. Around this time, the dino goes into a different area of the map. So you'll have to follow this trail of destruction and once I cross this gate, the time I will restart. Okay. So there she is. First shot triggers it. And I just walked in the wrong direction totally. Someone has to go just to find and have to get out around directly into a bomb it is not the greatest but I actually didn't lose too much health yet so maybe in the future I can play I can probably shoot a bit more but I believe that's bleed okay now I need to um, don't want to lose too much health hmm Will we do it? Yeah, it's actually almost dead. Oh, t actually went to a, a different sector map. I did not do this last time. This might be scary. We do get some health. So, we could do this again and... Hmm. Where do I have to go? Back here? Yep, back to the start. Just like a circle, I guess. Oh, what just happened? So there are three waves, and this time it does so much more damage. I cannot stick around to shoot. Okay, interesting. And I cannot see what's going on at all. And T-Rex does so much. T-Rex has so much more health. And is so much faster. It appears to be faster. I can barely get time to summon my dinos. I actually can't summon anything. The Antarctica culture. Please come. Please. I cannot. Having too much trouble clicking the print button. Warning. Stopping. Warning for what? Tactical Pelter, please keep the two as distracted as I run around in circles. Oh, check that is definitely faster. This did not happen last time, not even close. And I cannot press it at this point. And I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I just need to stay alive for 50 more seconds. I power my alarm. Still stay. I have no idea what the did you I just turned around. Stay away. Antarctic Pelta. I'm at 8,000 points now. So. Sprint up the direction. Summon Akakantosaurus. 19 seconds to stay alive. And I cannot take a single hit. I cannot, and I'm going to die. Well. There you have it folks, the T-Rex boss event. It's pretty fun. A two times completion bonus for completing the loop. So that's pretty nice. 8,823 points obtained. So better than last time. So we went to the officer rank. It added on to our previous points. So, hmm, if you just play enough, then that means we can get to the final rank. Interesting. Well, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, subscribing. Until next time.
See you later.